allow me to demonstrate. I now have direct access to his visual cortex. He has no choice but to see what I wish him to see. I can feed him any image I choose. He will be unable to ignore it. His galvanic skin response has increased 9%. It seems Commander LaForge, like many humans, has a low tolerance for watching others suffer. Uh, why are you doing this? I am sorry, Commander. What is a necessary step? I apologize for your discomfort. Here. Observe how a spring day on his native earth affects him. He's looking at a beautiful meadow, green trees, birds, a blue sky. The heartbeat slows, the galvanic skin response drops, the body responds to our stimuli. He is incapable of maintaining control of his own responses. Watch as I change the stimuli again. Once our work is done, the forge will act normally, totally unaware of his conditioning. The perfect tool for our purpose. Will there be any physical evidence of what you are going to do to him? None, Commander. That is why we chose the forge. The utilization of his pre-existing neural implants makes our work impossible to detect. Ray, how will we be certain your procedure has been successful? Uh, with its wing mirrors ready to be broken off. If I get cross. This has been going on since I left my ex-husband in Gloucestershire over 10 years of this hell and every day is hell it's been day to day and the Dennis bin trucks will be up around tw between 12 and 2 um, it's not funny being ugly it gets a bit boring <laughs> There have been two rebel attacks on neutral freighters, one the Ferengi and the other Cardassian. Both were engaged near the Icanian asteroid belt. That's where the rebels must be hiding. The actinides in the asteroids provide positive protection against our sensors. That's the story of my life. I like your hair. I like your hair. But I doubt they would challenge a Federation starship. Especially with the Federation furnishing them support. You have to laugh at yourself. Don't you? you would test the uh, captain's the word with me, Kel. Is it because I have no honor in your eyes that you expect me to be disloyal? Wrong of me to ask. My apologies. Captain Picard does not lie. If he says there is no Federation assistance to the rebels, there is none. Good. Because I risk my own reputation and honor coming to Picard. He will not disappoint you. If that is all. I'm that ugly and I'm that horrible. Well, there are some members of the High Council who would thank you, Worf. Uh, so they could piss off, basically. I've had enough of thank them. I'm ignoring it. For killing Duras. No doubt that had he lived, one day he would ascend to head the Council. Many were not looking like forward that. to that. My motives were personal, not political. Motives? Who cares for motives? Humans, perhaps. What matters is you acted on that day. As a true Klingon. And if I was ugly, Graham, why did you go out off on and off out with me for two years? Behind your wife's back. Where are we, Mr. LaForge? This is Tim Bowler. Who is that man sitting over there? That's Chief O'Brien. How long has he served with you? Almost four years. I want you to kill him. Okay. Take this phaser and kill Chief O'Brien. Anyway, forget that. I'm happier on my own. Free simulations. Commander, did you understand my request? And it, the wing mirrors will be kept intact, by the way, because it well, doesn't I, make me cross. I it's just, I, I don't look at me. That car has never been in that car park before. Now, what did I ask you to do? Kill Chief O'Brien. Then do as I asked. Resume program. Especially Jesus, now I have to. Ah! Good.
good, Mr. LaForge. Very good. Why don't you enjoy a drink with your friends? Mind if I join you guys? Sure. He still hesitated. Prepare the equipment for another session. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my day, you bastard of a rat that keeps making my life horrible. Enjoy yourself without me.